Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we're going to do a slightly different form of trinomials called difference of two squares. If you look at your previous videos, you will see that in the previous video we had discussed trinomials and we had clarified that it is three in terms. Now when you have something that is also to the power of two, but it is only two terms, then you can use trinomials to solve this but there is easier methods. Let us first discuss how you would have done it if you had used your previous methods of trinomials. Now, in your previous video you had learned that you're going to first look at the sign of the last number. So from that you know that one bracket would be plus and one bracket would be minus, giving you a negative. Then because we have a positive in the second term, usually we would have said the positive has to lie by the bigger number. In this case it is 0. 0 is usually not allocated a sign. So the trick is to remember that if we are looking at the factors of 9, it would be 3 and 3, 1 and 9. The factors of 9 where 1 would be plus and 1 would be minus and the answer needs to be 0 would be a perfect 3 and 3. This would be using your trinomial methods. Now there is a shorter way to do this. We are going to use a method where we call it difference of two squares. Now the answer lies in the question. Number 1 x squared is a perfect square and 9 is a perfect square. Difference means negative. So it is the difference, so it is the subtraction of two squares. Now, now x squared is x times x and the root of 9 is 3 times 3. So x times x is a perfect square giving us x squared, 3 times 3 a perfect square of 9. What we do then is we split it. 1x in the first bracket, 1x in the second bracket. 1, 3 in the first bracket, 1, 3 in the second bracket. But the signs are plus and minus. Why? Because in your previous videos regarding trinomials we had discussed that the smiles must always equal to the middle term. In this case there is no middle term, it is 0. So here we have 3x minus 3x which is equal to 0. Now let us go through the steps. <coughs> let us go through the steps. Number 1, you are going to get the root of the first term. Then you are going to get the root of the second term. And number 3, you are going to put it in your two brackets, remembering all the time that 1 is plus and 1 is minus. Let us do a more complicated example. If I gave you 9x squared minus 16, what is the root of 9? 3 and the root of x squared, x. So we've got 3x times 3x. What is the root of 16? 4 times 4. Giving us 3x minus 4, 3x plus 4. As long as they are perfect squares, you can continue using this method. Now you must look for the minus in the question. You must look for the minus in the question and you must see that they are all perfect squares. A level 3 question of this would be something to this effect where we would have 3x minus 4 all squared minus 9y squared. If you look at the root of 3x minus 4 squared, you will notice it is 3x minus 4.
because the roots cancel out with the square and you're left with 3x minus 4. Now that was the first term. Then we're going to say subtract. What is the second term? What is the root of 9y squared? It is 3y times 3y. So it will be minus 3y. We've done the root of the first term giving us 3x minus 4. Then we've done the root of the second term which is giving us 3y. Then last we are putting it in the brackets and 1 is minus and 1 bracket is plus. You will notice that 3x minus 4, even though it is two terms, it is the root of the first term in the question. Three x minus four is two terms, but it is the root of the first term in the question. So your final answer is three x minus four minus three y and three x minus four plus three y. Usually if the questions get more complicated, you need to simplify inside if they are like terms. Thank you for watching this video.